In this video, we are going to learn on how to draw the sequence diagram for the topic ATM management system. So the first step in drawing a sequence diagram is we need to find the multiple objects for the diagram. So here the topic is ATM management system. So the things which are related to ATM can be called as objects. So if you take ATM, ATM itself can be an object. Next, if ATM has to exist, definitely bank should be there. Only if banks are there, ATM can be there. Right. So bank can be an object. Next, customers. Customers who are called as users. They are also an object. So in sequence diagram, we need to write the multiple objects inside the rectangular box and we need to underline it. It is mandatory to do that. So the first object is user. So I'm writing the object name inside a rectangular box and I'm underlining it. The second object is ATM. I'm drawing a rectangular box. And I'm underlining it. The third object is bank. I'm drawing a rectangular box and I'm underlining it. So this is the first step in the sequence diagram. You're supposed to write the multiple objects inside the rectangular box and underline it. So here, what are the multiple objects? User, ATM and bank. Because all three are very important for ATM management system. So user is very important because user are the customers. Customers will only have account in bank. Only when they have account in bank, they can go to an ATM and withdraw or deposit the money. Okay, so this is the flow. So these three are the multiple objects. So this is your first step. Next, the second step is it has to happen in the timely manner. What do you mean by timely manner? Some action happening in order. Okay. For buying a pen, what is the order? You have to get out of the house. Then you need to go to the shop. Then you need to ask for a pen from the shop owner or shop assistant. Then they will show you the pen. You will choose the best and you will pay the price for that. So this is the flow in which you are going to buy a pen. This is the proper flow, proper order. I cannot directly say that. First, I will get the pen from the shop. And then only I will leave from my house. After that, only I will do payment. Is the order proper? When you jumble and write, the order is improper and it has no meaning. So, it should be done in a proper manner. Only when it is done in proper manner, we can call it as an action being properly performed. We can say that an action is being properly done. Buying a pen means when order is followed, you are buying a pen in a proper way. If you are writing it in jumbled way, no one is going to understand on how to buy a pen if they didn't know. So now here if you take ATM, what is the process? First you need to go to the ATM and you need to insert the card. After inserting the card, the ATM will request for the PIN number. Next you need to enter the PIN number. After entering the PIN number, some processing will take place. So it will verify all the details with the bank. After verification has been successful, some options will be shown to you. You want to withdraw a deposit. Some options like that will be shown to you. Now, for example, you want to withdraw. You want to take some money from the account. So, you will click on the option withdraw. Next, what will be asked? They will request the amount. That is how much amount you want to withdraw. So, you need to enter the amount. After entering the amount, the cash will come from the ATM. You can take the cash. And you can leave from the ATM. So this is the order in which. This is the timely manner. So first you need to insert the card. So that is happening at one time. For example, if it is happening at 10 a.m. After inserting the card, 
what happens requesting for the pin number will happen at 10 1 am okay or 10 2 am so every action is not happening at the same time itself you cannot insert the card and take the cash from the atm at 10 am itself right you are inserting at 10 am next the next it is requesting for the pin number at 10 1 am next you are entering the pin it will take some 10 3 or 10 4 am after entering the pin processing it might take 2 uh, to 3 minutes so 10 6 am after 10 6 am you have to choose one option withdraw or deposit whatever so 10 9 am it will take next 10 11 am for it to request for the amount and we typing the amount next 10 15 am for receiving the cash from the atm so at 10 o'clock i entered the card at 10 15 am i am getting the cash from the atm so it will take some time and you should also remember that every action will happen at different times only the full process will not take place just at 10 am itself it will take different times there is some time gap between every single step so waiting time is there okay so now the second step is that trade right? so we need to draw that in the diagrammatic form so i need to put some dotted line this is the symbol for activation time so i need to draw a symbol like this and at the same height this is there no at this same height i need to draw over here also in the atm also i need to draw at the same height both should be at the same height because the user is inserting the card into the atm and atm machine is having the card at the same time of insertion only so both are at same time so the height should be same okay so from here to here i need to draw an arrow after drawing an arrow right card insertion okay so card insertion step has happened after inserting the card what will happen the atm will respond you have inserted the card okay after inserting the card the atm is responding like this asking for your pin number respond means you need to draw dotted line like this and put an arrow so it is requesting for the pin number so requesting it is requesting for the pin number from you so after inserting the card you have inserted the card since you have inserted the card it is responding to you by requesting you to enter the pin number okay so whenever you are respond responding after card insertion you are responding for that card insertion you are responding like i am requesting you to enter the pin number okay this is happening at different time and card insertion is happening at this time request pin number is happening at this time next step is entering the pin so just draw a little lower like this so at this level for example draw an arrow mark you are entering the pin okay the pin number you are entering at this time after entering the pin number what will happen after that below this entering pin arrow you need to draw this box this line here okay so from atm to the bank what is happening verification is happening so verifying step after entering the pin the verifying step is happening so after verifying what will happen after that time so if the arrow is starting here definitely below that only the arrow should start at this place so what will happen atm will show some options to the user 
so it is showing some options to the user so i need to draw arrow from atm to user because atm is only showing the options to the user okay so after showing options the user needs to choose the option from the atm so from here to here it is drawing so it is choosing the option withdraw withdraw means what you are taking the money from your account so you are choosing the option withdraw since the user is choosing the arrow should be from user to the atm now requesting for choosing the amount who is requesting the atm is requesting so from here you need to draw requesting to enter the amount after this what happens the user is going to enter the amount in the atm so after this enter the amount after entering the amount the atm will give the cash to the user so take cash from atm so after the process has been completed just close this and then put some dotted line like this and here you can close this and put some dotted line till down so this is your final sequence diagram for atm management system you just need to understand that all the arrows are at different positions only because the arrow means the time and on top of every arrow we have written steps so each step is taking place at different times only no two steps can take place at the same time okay so first the user will insert the card into the atm next the atm will respond asking for the pin number next the user will enter the pin number after the user enters the pin number the atm will verify from the bank for all the details and if it has been verified the atm will provide some options to the user the user has to choose one from those options so here in this diagram the user has chosen withdrawing money from the atm withdrawing money means taking money from the account so withdraw next the atm will request for the amount how much money you want to take from the atm that atm will ask the user next the user will say i want to take 3000 rupees so enter the amount after entering the amount the atm will give the cash to the user so this is the process in which you are supposed to draw the sequence diagram for atm management system so the height of these two were same because card insertion the user is doing and while the user is inserting the atm is also taking it in so both are happening at same time that is why the heights are same okay so in this way you need to draw the sequence diagram for this topic if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section so the first step is multiple objects it should be written inside the rectangular box and underlined the second step is timely manner the order of the process should be followed correctly next activation time so every action happens at different time and then the arrow marks according to who is asking and who is giving so user is inserting means from user you have to draw the arrow to the atm if atm is asking for the pin number means from atm to user you need to draw the arrow mark so make sure on how to draw the arrow mark and then don't forget to put these dotted lines at the end and complete i hope this video was helpful for you thank you so much if you like this video please like subscribe and share it with your friends